Our journey starts in one of the world's greatest cities. For thousands of years, Istanbul, previously called Constantinople, has guarded the narrow gateway between the Mediterranean and the Black Sea. Only when you're up here that you really get a sense of the geography of this city. It truly is, like few other world cities, a place where continents collide. Forming a bridge between the cultures of Europe and Asia, it's not hard to see why Istanbul has always been so important. We're now flying over the European side of Istanbul. Just over my left shoulder, just across the other side of the Bosphorus. That's Asia. <laughs> and down below us, we have some of the great landmarks of Istanbul, some of the great landmarks of human civilization. Just down here, this is Hagia Sophia. Over the centuries, Istanbul has been the center of empires, and armies from both the east and the west have fought to capture it. The different cultures have left their mark on this sacred site. It is just the most extraordinary building, not just because of its size, but because of its age. The very notion that they were able to build, to build this, more than 1,500 years ago, just, it just defies, defies logic almost. Hagia Sophia was built in the 6th century as a Christian church. 900 years later, it was converted into a mosque by the conquering Ottomans, when Islam became the dominant religion. As a modern country of 70 million Muslims, Turkey's now trying to decide how much it's a Middle Eastern or a Western state. It's applied to join the European Union, although the prospect of a predominantly Muslim country entering Europe is making many in the West uneasy. But Turkish Islam comes in many different forms. To learn more, Adil Ray set off into the woods. I'm in a forest in Mengen, Turkey. I'm with fellow Muslims, and I can't believe I'm pig hunting. A wild boar hunt counts as a pretty strange day out for a Muslim like me. Every Sunday, this group of friends meet up to indulge their passion deep in the woods of northern Turkey. Most of them, like 99% of Turks, are Muslims. I'm not quite sure what's going on. All I know is what the, what the hunters do is they form a ring around the area where they know there are pigs. I've been told they can smell pig in the air. And if they catch one, they'll kill it, then eat it. In my world, that's about as taboo as it gets. I just, just want to ask him, as a Muslim, does he think if he prays to God, God will help him hunt for pigs? I thought maybe because I'm Muslim and it's Muslim, maybe it's not it's not in our blood to hunt pigs. Okay. The chase was on. As you can hear the dogs are barking, which is a sign that the pigs are really close. The action has suddenly just stepped up here. When cornered, a boar can charge and use its sharp tusks to spear a man. You think a pig may come here? Yeah, uh, boar sound. You can hear the boar sound? Yeah. It's a delicate procedure. This is quite exciting, but also scary at the same time. But it looked like today was the boar's lucky day. <laughs> 
Bağlı, bağ, bağdan çıktı hayvan. Okay, so we've just spent two hours uh, hunting and um, didn't actually work out today. Uh, no pigs were caught. <laughs> You're, you're laughing, but I mean, I'm, I'm sure deep down you're quite disappointed by it, aren't you? No, I'm not disappointed because uh, uh, hunting itself is a passion. <laughs> you know what I think? You know, as a Muslim, I think God was watching over me and, and said, No, son, <laughs> no, you I will don't not be killing that. any no. pigs in Turkey. You were not killing, you were not killing me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Back at home, the guys cooked one up they'd shot earlier. But it was strictly lamb on the menu for me. How do you feel being being Muslims? You've you've hunted yani, boar and yani now you're eating şey. eating pork meat. It's not something that should be seen as bad. My family and my friends all think the same way. I can't help but think, but back back in Britain, if a Muslim was to eat pork, they would no longer be considered a Muslim, and there is no question of that. Can you understand how other Muslims will feel that, that this shouldn't happen? It's the difference between understanding and not understanding. When you read the words of the Quran, you can make your own interpretation. But someone else can read it and blindly take it at face value. You've got to be enlightened about this. But of course, sometimes ideas will clash. Well, that was quite an interesting dinner, really, um, eating pork with Muslims. Not Muslims who've just bought a hot dog on a Friday night in town and not really thought about it. Um, they've really thought about it. I mean, they've read the Quran and they truly believe what they're doing is right and Islamic. Turks who eat pork are in a minority. But many, particularly in urban areas like Istanbul, do drink alcohol. My family is also religious, but they are not so conservative. They know that I sometimes drink alcohol, they know that I have a girlfriend, but there's no, they are not so strong about that. The point is, in Islam, the freedom is very important. Free thinking, free mind is the most important thing. But some people believe all this is about to change. In 2002, an openly Islamic party, the AKP, came to power, winning democratic elections with a large majority. 